this woman was my mother. You know, it was, I remember her cooking and cleaning and taking care of her kids because my father was uh, always out, always trying to look for work and he never got a real job, you know. And, and he died when he was uh, very young because he was an alcoholic, you know. And, and, and that image of my, of my mother with her hair all dirty, all messy, all her never had time to clean up herself, you know, or at least that's how I remember always taking care of her kids, you know, always arguing with, with her husband. And, and, and at the same time, I remember that when they had these moments that they were just so, so full of love. He just can't bear all this, you know, to see his family suffering so much, his two little kids, a little boy that is probably going to grow up and be just like him. He just went and, and made a deal with the devil, you know, and he comes back home. He has all, you know, this, uh, I mean, five thousand dollars, ten thousand—I don't know how much money he, he has in his hands. He's and and he realizes that what a beautiful family he has. All these friends that love him, even if, you know, and and he just starts to just re realize that at life, for those five days that he's going to have, he just enjoys those every single moment with his friends, with his father. Uh, with his wife, with his kids. This little boy has become the man of the house because Rafael hasn't been there. You know, so this little boy just t slowly, slowly starts to uh, trust his father again. So that's the little, the little girl. And they're such a sweet kids. It's so beautiful. <laughs> To me, it seemed like he never rested, you know, he never had some time to rest. <laughs> you know, he, he was either writing, uh, watching dailies, uh, directing, I mean, looking for the, the new location or, I mean, he was always working. And I saw him that he had so much work to do, you know, every single day, so many hours. He was the first on the set and the last to leave the set, you know.